All right, traditionally, the holidays are a time for family fun, but all the running around can cause many to feel under the weather today. So are the holidays to blame, or is it something else going on in your body? Here to help <laughs> us break down the truth behind the top holiday health myths, Dr. Nancy Simpkins. Welcome to you. Good Merry morning. Christmas. Hey, everybody. Happy holidays. So, Hi, we're all feeling good this morning, though. Yeah, we feel good. Not right. too much candy. Okay, everybody ready for our quiz? You've got some questions. Right, okay, so the first one. Sugar makes children hyperactive. True or false? Oh, so this is a trick question. False. Uh, uh, Ed, you should. Thank you. I <laughs> <laughs> wanted to stare at his okay. answer for a little so while. So the the two people who said false are correct. Yes. Really? Okay. Ed. It's really not the sugar that makes kids hyperactive. It's the environment that they're in when they're eating the sugar. For instance, a birthday party. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, a family gathering or staying up late at night or playing games. They've done these controlled studies with giving kids placebo and giving them sugar, and they just published right. one in the New so England keep Journal. Giving them sugar is fine. So it's really, <laughs> it's really <laughs> okay. Yeah. Them. It's right. really okay. It's just a parental myth that we all have. Really? I noticed a definite difference. I don't want to stop this, uh, the, the fact and fiction thing, but. My first two, I could give sugar, no big deal. My third one, it was it was like a stimulant. It was like giving them coffee. Okay, so then maybe you're going to have to do your own controlled study in <laughs> your you family. Don't know, maybe the third one has <laughs> friends. Mini Brian killed me. <laughs> That's problem. true. All right, so uh, airplanes making okay, it sick or not? Right. Do airplanes make you sick? True or false? Mm. Well, Depends if somebody's on sick on the airplane, don't let her see. False. Correct. It's true. Oh. oh. Okay, see, and I was betting no that, about it. that it seems right, so obvious. Right, it seems so obvious. Yeah. Okay, okay. It, it is really true. First of all, all the surfaces, right? They say the number one surface is the tray table that has so much bacteria. So if you're one of those crazy people who can wipe it down before you sit down with like a, a Purell wipe. So not so crazy. Right, and the person behind you, even seven rows behind you, it only takes three minutes in the recirculated air for their germs when so they sneeze they, to get to you. So if they sneeze, it gets to you? In three minutes. You know, in seven rows up. So basically, we're kind of. You've got of, 180 seconds, probably. You know what? Right. Right. I used to nap on the trays. I will admit that I've changed my oh, right. habits. Right. 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 Is that right. terrible? Really? Yeah, put your head down. Buddy Mary? <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. What do you got? Number three. Uh, most of your body heat you lose through your head. True or false? Oh, I know that. Um, that's a no-brainer. Okay, that's true. not true. That's Whoa. Not true. Ah. And here's why. It's really a trick question because the way that we all dress. You lose most of your body heat through your head because you don't have a hat on. It's really based on surface area. So the head is only 10% of your body surface area. So, for instance, if you were wearing shorts in the winter, you would lose a lot more of your body heat through your legs because it's a bigger Wherever surface area. Wherever the opening. So Wherever the opening. Is. You're destroying the hat industry, but yeah, I'm going to forgive you. Oh. Right. Yeah. Okay. Next question. This is bad for us. Because Nighttime feasting makes you fat, true or false? Oh, man. True. False, correct that. <laughs> Why? Knows. Because it's just calories in minus calories out. It doesn't matter what time of the day uh, you eat them. But at night, people tend to eat things such as chips or cookies when they're watching but TV. What about, ice cream. what about the theories, doctor, that you have no time to burn off what you eat, so you just you, it's sick yeah, in your that's stomach. really not true. Because your metabolic rate works even when you're sleeping. So if oh. you're really good about doing morning exercise. Right. Your metabolic rate will work for you when you're sleeping. I love right. this. So more candy for your kids, and you can snack <laughs> uh, uh, all night uh, long. Right. But, yeah, but snack on healthy things. All right, last last one. one. Washing hands frequently prevents illness. True or false? I think that's false. It is true. Good job. Uh, I think so. That's I'm, the one thing that you think was going to be wrong is right. You can never wash your hands too often. But, right. what, but what about the theory that if you, you know, germs actually help fight back That's right. other yeah. illnesses? Right. So if right. you wash oh, them too much, you're getting rid of those okay, germs. Okay, the problem is we all touch our eyes, our nose, and our mouth, which are the mucous membranes that get the bacteria in. So that's why you must wash your hands. You come off the subway, you come off a train, you come mm. off anywhere, you wash your hands only because we touch it and then the bad bacteria gets in. All right, you've got to talk to our own Tucker Carlson because he doesn't right. believe in that theory. Yes, right. I know. Never we, wash we, your hands. We have had this discussion. Okay. Here and I. You don't want to argue with Tucker. Right. I know. I've seen yeah, the show. Yeah, I've seen it. It's kind of it ends badly. All right. All right. Thank nice you very much. Great to see you. Oh,